Well, hello everyone. Today's reading comes from Ephesians chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. Let's go ahead and pray in order to prepare ourselves to receive God's word. Holy Father, we thank you for these words of life. Holy Spirit, will you give us eyes to see and ears to hear? Lord Jesus, will you go before us in this text and make a way? And together we say, speak, Lord. Your servants are listening. Again, today's reading comes from Ephesians chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by God's will, to the faithful saints in Christ Jesus at Ephesus, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavens in Christ. For he chose us in him before the foundation of the world to be holy and blameless in love before him. And he predestined us to be adopted as sons through Jesus Christ for himself, according to the pleasure of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace that he lavished on us in the Beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to his riches of his grace that he richly poured out on us. With all wisdom and understanding, he made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure that he purposed in Christ, a plan for the right time, to bring everything together in Christ, both things in heaven and things on earth in him. In him, we have also received an inheritance because we were predestined according to the plan of the one who works out everything in agreement with the purpose of his will, so that we who had already put our hope in Christ might bring praise to his glory. In him, you also were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, when you believed. The Holy Spirit is the down payment of our inheritance until the redemption of the possession to the praise of his glory. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 